Are you too old for limb lengthening surgery? Hey, what's up guys, Victor here. And today we're gonna to talk about if there's an age limit for limb lengthening surgery. So typically limb lengthening is performed on young kids, teens, and young adults whose growth plates have closed and are no longer growing. In fact, according to my YouTube analytics, the primary age range of people who watch my videos are between the ages of 18 and 34. And although that's not an end all statistic, it does give a rather fair assessment at which age groups are interested in this procedure. But does that mean that it's out of the question for older adults in their 40s, their 50s, and even their 60s to get limb lengthening done? Can't they also be candidates for the surgery? Well, the answer may actually surprise you, and you know I definitely wanna talk about that, but before we do, I wanna discuss how age can impact the recovery after the procedure. So it's a fact that as we get older, our bodies usually heal slower, which means that older patients may actually have to lengthen their bones slower in order for that gap to fill in with new bone and for them to, you know, heal it and harden it properly and they can get back to normal life. Also, older age patients may actually be at an increased risk for other complications, so all of this has to be taken into consideration by the surgeon before they start the lengthening process. If you decide to do limb lengthening surgery later on in your life, you need to set really clear expectations, okay? It's not just about wanting to grow longer leg bones, it's about what your body can realistically tolerate and listening to your body and your medical team and setting these clear recovery timeline expectations, you know, during and after the surgery, it's super important. It's gonna help you to better prepare. Speaking of preparation, preparing your body is just as important. This includes things like optimizing your health and fitness before the surgery through things like your nutrition, flexibility, and even a psychological check is super important to make sure that you're ready for this rigorous journey. Look, over the years, I've come across a lot of patients who have been between the ages of 40 and mid 60 that have gotten the surgery done you know, they've recovered really, really well and they've gotten back to normal. In fact, I'm talking to a patient right now, he's currently lengthening, he's in his mid 50s, and at one of his recent checkups, his surgeon said that he <laughs> he's growing bone like a 16 year old boy, so. <laughs> I thought that's so funny. Maybe age is just a number, but as long as you're in good surgical hands and you're in good health, I don't know, it's just maybe. Now they say that seeing is believing, so here are a few more patients that have defied the odds and have achieved their lengthening goals later on in life. months after surgery, my first surgery. Power through anything you want to do. You can station your squats. Engage. One leg. Three more weeks, I'll be 60 years old. Started off at about 5.6, and uh, I did the full 80, but I, I did it on 80. Yeah, 80, yeah, 80 millimeters and eight, eight centimeters. And get this, I am five foot ten inches. You know, I think like uh, Mr. F is just saying, you get psychologically a little bit fixated on an, on a number. Like when I first found out about all this, I was going, oh, I got to make it to six. I got to go six. And then I'm going, I got to make it to five, ten. <laughs> and, you know, if I was five, nine, I'd be fine. But another thing, I don't know if you guys have discussed this too much. When you're three inches taller on my femurs, it's really mm -hmm. difficult to pick stuff off the ground. <laughs> I, think, I think so. So I'm, I'm, I'm 46 and I think I've, I've ex I want to say the last four years. There's been times where I can't do anything. I, I'm working out and then I can't work out for four or five months because my back's out. And I've been, I've had some days where I couldn't stand up all the way. And I think my back got so bad that I was like, you know, he explained to me, you know, when I went to the spinal doctor and he said, well, if this fixes it, it could help. But he's no guarantee that, you know, the arthritis that's already set in your back is going to get better. That's, mm -hmm. you know, he's like, but the ruptured disc are not fully ruptured, but they're like, they're almost there. We're going to have to have fusion surgery on your spine. So when I thought of doing this, and I talked about it with him and, and my spine doctor. They said, uh, 
you know, you're going to have surgery to your back if you stay like this, you know, uh-huh. and you're not going to, you know, so so I just went ahead and I just, yeah, I just pulled the trigger, like you said, and went in there. I didn't want to think twice because when you start thinking about it, I'm like, this is I say yes now because it, it took care of my back issues. Now, if I still had the back problems, I would have probably said, man, this wasn't worth it. Yeah. But I want to say all my back issues are gone. I, I went to the spine surgeon. And he's like, man, this is a joke. Someone else's x-ray, you know, like, I mean, the disc, the ruptured disc are, are healed. I mean, I still have some arthritis in there and I still if I stand real straight, it's still mm-hmm. It's going to take some time. I wish I would have done it 10 years ago. And I think that I would have been a lot healthier now. Yeah. But I would definitely, I would absolutely 100% do it, do it again. That is so cool. That's so like, you know. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Look, age may influence the recovery after limiting surgery, but it doesn't have to be a barrier to you achieving your height goals or correcting your discrepancies. It's all about understanding the risks, preparing properly, working closely with your surgeon, and making sure that you get through the process safely. So if you've been considering this surgery, but you've been you know, worried that you're too old, I hope this video helped clear up some of those misconceptions and if you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out. Peace.